look, Shane is a great fella. Everybody knows that. Um, I thought he was going, I thought he was trying to miss the cut deliberately there to, the, to, to get to, to get to the match, but he uh, but left four birdies in a row, like just this, Jesus, like that, and that's the that's the, the level the man has. But you know, it was really it was really about him. He approached he approached me. He texted me one night over the Christmas there a couple of years ago to say, look, can I do anything for you or whatever? And I met him when he was, he was home. Sorry, he was, it was the night of the Ireland final, one of the ones at Limerick, one back in um, September, and he met me at the Christmas then, and he said, look, and he's, I think he's that he wants to be with us, he's given us obviously there's financial contribution there and he's, he's organising other things, but that, that um, I suppose, that standard that he sets as a sportsman, you know, that determination he has, that drive, that heart, and to, to show that he can compete at the world stage is a great example for our lads to say we can go and win. And I think it has given a huge confidence to, to, to our young players. And, um, and, and the, the, other thing, the other thing about him is it's, it's so genuine, like he really, I met him last week for, for lunch in, in Dublin, like, and he's, He's such an interest. He knows all the lads. He knows, you know, he's watched all the matches. Uh, you know, he's like he's, he's asked me about different lads from different clubs. You know, how did Donald Sharp? Where October? Where did, where did he come out? You know, uh, like I didn't know there was any. And, and really interested in, in in the lads. So, you know, and it's, I think it's good for him as well because he's it's a lonely enough life that he has. And yeah, I know he's moved the family now to America, but he, it, it, you know, he gave me an old call or he, he a few old texts say, "How's this going? How's that going? What are you doing there?" We're very interested to know. Very interested in our overall plan and where we're going and all that. So keep a little bit of pressure on us as well, you know, to to make sure we're doing things fairly right. Did you ever go out in the course with him? I did years ago. Yeah. How did yeah, you yeah, go? Uh, he played well. <laughs> <laughs> the same as Johnny P. You owe him a few quid, I'd say. <laughs> I, I tell you, I played. I played with him in Esker Hills. Um, I didn't play with him in the last few years, uh, but I played with him year, years ago when he, I think. After he won the Irish Open as an amateur, but he was gone, maybe gone probably. He had a 62 in Esker Hills today. I played him. He had nine birdies and nine pars, and uh, um, you know it was it was uh, it was good. I, I played Flaherty and David Reynolds. I don't know. There was no chance of getting the money on Flaherty anyway, so I don't know. What, uh, I don't know what went on, but yeah, no, he's um, he he must have forgot I played because there was no pro am invitations or anything like that. I saw, I saw some of the boys down during the week, but he's uh, no look. He's it's great to have him, and you know and. Delight and said Linus coming in as well. You mentioned him earlier on. Fantastic, that family business again. You know, like you know, Carol's were with us for years. Seamus, Carol, and the Carol family, but now back with a family, an awfully best family that really are a partner more than a, a sponsor. They're mad into seeing what they can do for us, and and again, jumping on board with the miners this week. Anything they can do, they're there to help, and it's brilliant to have that. And and that's spreading throughout our sponsorship now, and there's more and more people looking to get involved, which is fantastic. For more exclusive content, go to patreon.com forward slash our game.